countries are snapping up the rights to Servant of the People, a comedy show starring the Ukrainian president, as the Ukrainian president. Back in 2015, former actor and comedian Volodymyr Zelensky played Vasily Petrovich Goloborodko, a high school teacher propelled to the presidency after a student's video of him denouncing official corruption in Ukraine goes viral. Goloborodko sets about running the country while eschewing the perks of being leader by keeping hold of his normal life. A hit in Ukraine, where it ran for three seasons and a spin-off movie, interest in the show has peaked since Zelensky became the face of the nation as it endures attacks from Russia. Echo Rights has distributed the program, made by Zelensky's studio Kvartel 95, since it launched. The company's managing partner, Nicola Soderlund, said sales have increased dramatically in the last few days, calling interest in the program remarkable. It's quite an old show already, he explains. But, of course, given the circumstances, it's become very, very, very interesting for everybody. Channel 4 has announced it has the rights to Servant of the People in the UK. And plans to broadcast an episode on Sunday, alongside a current affairs show about Zelensky. Echo Rights also recorded deals with MBC in the Middle East, Greece's Ant1 and Pro TV in Romania, as well as broadcasters in Bulgaria, Moldova, Estonia, France, Finland and Georgia. It was not immediately clear who, if anyone, had US rights. People get surprised that a comedian can be a politician, but he was, says Soderlund. His skills in getting compelling messages to the people, which is what to do if you're a TV host, has helped him a lot becoming a politician. Zelensky's profile has skyrocketed during the invasion as he is a tireless advocate for Ukraine, appearing with countrymen and on near-constant video addresses. That was kind of the idea, Soderlund said, and I loved it, Servant of the People won the Best Feature Series Award at the Teletriumph Awards in Ukraine and also the Gold Remy Award for Television Comedy at the 2016 Worldfest in Houston. The Associated Press contributed to this report.